hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome to this video i am super excited for this video because as you guys know october has finally started and a new month equals a new monthly tbr so today we are gonna pick my october tbr but we are gonna do something a little different today if you guys haven't seen my last couple of videos i have uh recently let my brother pick the books i read for the last two months and if it's not him picking my books for the month it's me but i just decided to do something a little different i have seen my favorite youtuber rachel Catherine. i love her videos so much if you guys don't already follow her channel go follow it now i love her videos so what she usually does to let um to pick her monthly tbr is she has a prompt jar pick her TBR. So she has a jar filled with all these prompts and those prompts picks the books that she reads for that month. I'm just gonna do four um, prompts for this video, but I do have a small little book haul. When I mean small, I mean small. So I recently went to Barnes and Nobles a couple of days ago and I picked up the Long Game by Elena Armas. This is her this is her newest release. I've read her last two books and they were insane. I love her writing. I love her books. I love the storylines of her books. And I knew that once this got published, I needed to buy it. So I recently picked up this book and I'm super excited to read it. What I've caught from this book is about um our main character, Adeline. This is dual point of view i'm very excited for that i love dual point of view but adeline she i think she manages like a soccer team in miami and she has a problem with the team mascot and her dad who is the owner of the team sends her to north carolina to manage a soccer team of nine-year-old girls where she meets uh a retired professional goalkeeper called Cameron and I think she runs him over and I think she like I think he's the coach of the team so it's like a forced proximity slow burn enemies to lovers I don't know that's all I got from this but I'm super excited to read this so let's hope we do so we already do have one book picked for this video and the first book is Love Theoretically by Ali Hazelwood. The reason why this book is the first book in our TPR is because this is the first book in a book club that I have started recently with a friend of mine. This is our first pick of the month and this is our first pick in our book club. So I'm super excited to read this. I've had this in my TBR cart for a while and I've been wanting to read this for a while. So we decided since we both had the book, let's just have this book be our first book for our book club. So we are going to be reading this in the month of October. Um, this is a... So Ali Hazelwood writes books about women in STEM. So this is about arch... I think like academic rivals, their enemies. They both work in STEM, but they're, pro they're both professionals in two different type of jobs and those jobs don't click so they're like rivals in work and stuff like that so this is i think this is like yeah i think this is like fake dating that's all i know i know very little about this book but let's just get started let's just pick our second book of this month so let's just do this i just had two i just had two prompts fall off let's um I'm gonna do this. I don't know why I just did that. An epic fantasy. I have two fantasies in my TBR right now. I mean, in my card. I think I'm gonna do A Court of Missing Fury by Sarah J. Maas. This is book two in the Akatar series. I read A Court of Thorns and Roses, which is book one around May. And this has been on my tbr cart for a long time so i think it's time i get rid of it but the thing is it's so big look at that and this is like it feels like a brick like it feels like a brick but i'm super excited our second book for this month a court of mist and fury 
Sarah J. Maas. Her books are huge, but we can do this. I hope. I'm getting prompts that I don't have. Suspense. We have a suspense and I do have a suspense here. We have a Good Girls Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. I'm super excited for this. This is uh, a murder mystery. So I think it does equal suspense. A lot of people have said that when you read this book, you can't put it down. And there's like a lot of suspense to it. So I think that equals suspense. So our third book for this month. So we have two more prompts to go. Super excited, super excited. A friend picks the book. That's actually gonna be a little hard. I'm gonna go get my friend. Like I'm gonna go get a friend and I'm gonna have them pick the book. We'll be right back. Let's just get a friend to pick the book. So we're back and the prompt is a friend picks the book. So. We're gonna have my sister-in-law pick our next book. Hello. So yeah, I think after this, we're gonna do one more. So don't mind the cat. This is our beautiful cat, Luna. She is so cute. She's so cute. We'll let her free. So we'll just, okay. you'll just pick from one of those. Okay, any of these? Yeah. Okay. Except, except for this one. You already read this one? No, I'm waiting on the first okay. book. Okay, okay, okay. So can I grab them? Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, so oh, sorry. Okay, super cute card, by the way. I Thank love the stickers. Yeah. Okay, we got Carrie's Soto. Is that Soto? Yeah, I think it's Soto. Carrie's Soto is back. I actually started that book, but she did something very disrespectful, and I just like stopped reading it. Yeah, I don't like the cover, anyways. Next. Oh, Twilight. It's like this. Is this the Twilight? That's the Twilight. <laughs> Honestly, you know what? <laughs> this one's staying right here because this might be that's option. Maybe. But the problem is that if you start it, you're gonna read all of them, aren't you? Yeah. So that's why you've been holding it off. No, like the thing is, like I've been like, I don't know. A lot of people say that the Twilight series isn't the same as the movie. So I don't know if it's gonna be like better or worse. Damn. Four hundred and three pages. <laughs> and it's very long. <laughs> This is a big book. Okay, we'll keep it here just in case. That's a maybe because we love Edward here. All right. And Jacob. It says, if he had been with me. Ooh, yeah. this one looks interesting. I really like the cover. A lot of people say it's sad. I don't know. Can I read the back? Yeah. If he had been with me, everything would have been different. Autumn and Finn used to be inseparable, but then something changed or they changed. Now they do their best to ignore each other. Autumn has her boyfriend. Jamie has her close knit group of friends. Finn has become that boy at school. The one everyone wants to be around. That still doesn't stop the way Autumn feels every time she and Finn cross paths. And the growing nagging thought that maybe things could have been different. Maybe they should have been together. And as time passes, Autumn realizes she might not get another chance to make things right before it's too late. Sounds like ex, ex, ex lovers. Honestly, I think this one beats Twilight. Okay, Twilight's going back. This is our, our runner up, our runner up. Twilight is going back on the shelf. Here we go. Oh, this one's fat. Okay. No, that one's fat. How many pages is this one? 569. <laughs> okay, it says things we hide from the light. Oh, this one sounds deep though. I love the cover. Look at the I cover. Know. I don't know if I show them this cover. Did I show them this one? I don't know. This, looks very this is the one that's runner up. But this cover is really cute and I think dainty. I, I think the reason I picked that book was because of the cover and it's because it was like the second book in the series. Oh, you read the first book already? Yeah. But did you like the first book? I like did. out of 10, what was it? Out of 10, I rated um, the first book was Things We Never Got Over. And that was a solid like an seven solid seven yeah okay but usually books get better though right in so. series right i don't know i don't i don't think i want you to pick that one though. okay so this one's not it yeah we don't want this one that one's not it all right here we go this one says dance of thieves mary e pearson okay 
A stunning, a stunning new adventure set in the kingdoms of the remnant. A forbidden outlaw family that claims to be the first among nations. A son destined to lead thrust suddenly into power. Three fierce young women of Rathta, the queen's premier guard. A legendary street thief leading a mission determined to prove herself. A dark secret that is a threat to the entire continent. When outlaw leader meets reformed thief, a cat and a mouse game of false moves and ensues. And shoes and 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 sues and sues and sues, bringing them intimately together in a battle that may cost them their lives. I don't really like this one. All right, she don't like that <laughs> one. <laughs> she don't like it. Twisted lies. I think your sister read that one. Okay, yeah, my sister. I think she finished the series. Yeah, she was telling me that she finished she it. She loved this series. She wants me to read that book. First. Have you read all of them? I've read all three. So I've read. She, I think three. Twisted Games was her favorite. It was my favorite too. Twisted Games had to be the best one. Okay, this is a, a strong contender though. Cause yeah. You liked the series or no? I did. I did. I really enjoyed it. So why have you put off this book? Because it's huge. Because it's huge? Because <laughs> I'm okay. kind of scared. Because a lot of people say Twisted Games is my favorite. But a lot of people say Twisted Lies is the best one. No way. So I don't know if like I want my favorite to like... I don't know. Have you seen, like, there's, like, this filter on TikTok that talks about, like, the boys in the books and, like, what yes. you do to your boyfriend? Yeah. My sister's boyfriend was the one in this book. But she still liked Twisted Games more. Yeah, because... But this like, was, like, her boyfriend. Because, like, like, in each book, the boyfriends are, like, either they yell at her, oh, they hell lie no. to her. Oh, hell no. Or, like, I don't know. So, Rise was the one, who, the only boyfriend who protected the, his girlfriend. Like, he's the only one that was actually, like, a total prince. Awesome. Right now we have two that we haven't, we don't know which one yet. Let's see if the third one is a contender or not. Oh, so, okay. So the long game, I mean, yes, the long game. This is our option number three. If I'm being honest, I don't like it. She don't like it. She's so a, she's just, she's a football girly than a soccer girly. So. <laughs> so I'm definitely down to these two. If I'm being honest, okay. this is the one I like. Okay. Now, I know that you have already this series, so if you were to pick this one, that would be fine too, but I want you to read this one. You're the one picking the book. The prompt said a friend picks it, so... Uh, okay, so this is the book! <laughs> the one she picked was If He Had Been With Me. Sounds very dramatic. Are you excited or no? I'm actually very excited. This I'm is... a pretty dramatic person, so like I'm all for the romance. I like the drama. And I'm all so... for the drama too. So. so we have If He Had Been With Me. Thank you so much. So we are gonna pick our last book. Me, like no. Wait, I just like had four pop off. Multiple point of view. So let's, what's this one? This is multiple point of view. We have our last book, which is actually very funny because Nazi was just about to pick this one. So that's hilarious. But Twisted Lies by Anna Hong is a dual point of view. It's in Christian and Stella's point of view. So let's just recap the books that we are going to be reading. We do have fat books as much as we have thin books. So I think we have like a decent spread so first we have love theoretically a romance a court of mist and fury by sarah j moss a fantasy a good girl's guide to murder by holly jackson a mystery if he had been with me a drama romance second i don't know something like that it's a romance and Twisted Lies by Anna Huang. This is also very thick. Hopefully we'll finish it. I don't know. A romance. So here are all the books that we are going to be reading in the month of October. It's a lot. I can't guarantee that I'll finish. I can't guarantee that I'll finish all these books, especially with school. But we can try. There's no harm in being ambitious. And there's no harm in, you know, feeling hopeful. I've had very big reading months. If All these books are so good where I can't put them down. 
we might be able to finish all five. And if there's some that are dragging longer than they need to be, then we'll probably only read like three. I don't know. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, like, comment, and subscribe down below. Comment down below what books you plan to read in October. And if you guys want to see any vlogs on these books. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.